Hey everybody, welcome to a thing that's happening for reasons that, I, I don't know, it's regressy in here, it got all regressy, sorry about the regressiness. Oh my lanta. Anyway, uh, who says that? Who says oh my lanta? I don't even know what my lanta is a drug for, I know it's, I know it's a thing, is it doot doot, is it for your doot doot? Does it help with your doot doot situation? Does your doot doot get any help from the Mylanta? Anyway, um, this is a new world. Patterned after the old one. Anyway, uh, so, yas, we're opening it. Uh, the gain on this microphone is wickedly high, so it's probably picking up every last little morsel of nonsense that's happening. Oh my. Oh me, oh my. Oh yes. Oh yes. Anyway, uh, so, this is my new world. It's patterned after the old one where we used to live. Um, I stole these lecterns from a village as well as these books. As well as this potato. Oh my god, I can't wait to start living on a diet of potatoes. Uh, because potatoes are the superior food source. I don't know. That, that's how I feel about it. And how I feel is it needs to be validated. You need to always... Everything I say, you just need to believe it. That's what I need. Anyway, so... Um, <laughs> What if I just talked about this voice the entire time? Uh, guys, guys, I just need my experience to be witnessed. So, like, just witness my experience, guys. Um, anyway, I need to create another uh, chest for things I fully intend to throw away. <laughs> because that's... That is my next thing. Because I haven't found any freaking redstone. And I need redstone and lava for my things and my whatnots and my shibutabas and my hoo-hahs. Wait, not my hoo-ha. You stay out of my hoo-ha. Anyway, <laughs> regardless, my hoo-ha is my private business. You don't touch it. You don't come near it, okay? Anyway, so, uh, yeah. That's that's just the, the way it is. That's just the way it is, baby. It, ooh, ooh. Let's just sing Rembrandt songs. Hey, did you know that they have songs other than um, I'll Be There For You? which I heard first as just a, you know, a song. Because I had a friend in high school who was, like, ridiculously into the Rembrandts. Uh, they were her favorite band of all time. <laughs> she was very much about them. And so, um, yeah. So I knew all about, like, you know, Johnny, have you seen her? Things like that. Um, and when that second Rembrandt's album came out, LP is the name of it. It's a really good album. You should look it up. Uh, especially if you're into, like, a uh, crowded house and that kind of a scene. You know, the sort of, like, well-written guitar songs. <laughs> like, you know. Uh, also, if you are a fan of uh, freaking, uh, uh, well, they were Trip Shakespeare, and then they became um, Semisonic, I believe, unless I am wildly mistaken. Uh, but yeah, a good, you know, uh, guitar band with, you know, solid songwriting. Not quite power pop, but also not not that. Anyway, uh, generally beloved by fans of power pop, but you, you're not 
saying that they are in the same genre as, say, Teenage Fan Club or, you know, like, uh, oh, Velvet Crush or, um, what am I forgetting? Like, I'm thinking of all the ones that, you know, people don't normally think of. I mean, mainly because I think of jellyfish side projects. Uh, because that's where my brain goes. I'm like, hey, have you heard that Puffy Amayumi album that, uh, you know, that was produced by the drummer from Jellyfish? Have you heard it? You, you should have heard it. It's really good. It is, as a matter of fact. Really good. Anyway, I have no idea if, like, I have not run any sound checks or whatnot. It is entirely possible that the sound of this game is entirely too much right now. Um, boop, boop, ba doop. Okay. So, um, yas. So today's Friday. I've survived what has been a hellish torment of a week. And, uh, it's, yeah, it's been a whole thing. Is has been a blah blah and whatnot. Uh, and, and yesterday in particular, and, you know, due mainly to uh, the incompetence of certain parties who shall remain nameless, <laughs> I was just put in a bad spot where, like, a no-win situation where it's like, hey, uh, we're going to force you to teach something that you haven't really been trained on. You're going to be teaching that to 50 students all at once, all of whom um, are lost and don't even know why they're being called out of their classes and have no idea what's going on and don't even know why any of this matters. And all of this was supposed to be done more effectively and efficiently and officiously uh, well in advance of this date. But, um, you know, due to the, you know, uh, right hand not knowing that the left hand exists, uh, it, it's a real problem. So, anywho, uh, yeah, had, had a bit of a rough time. Uh, but also, like, uh, it, it's been, yeah... It's been hard. Like, you find me on Minecraft, and I'm usually complaining about things, and I'm sorry. And, uh, yeah. Shout out to that one drama student of mine who reportedly, uh, <laughs> listens to these Minecraft episodes because you're like, I don't know, I just want to listen to what he has to say. <laughs> well, what I have to say is that life is funny, but not haha -ha funny. Uh, it's curious, I guess. Wait, is that the lyric? I'm thinking of the lyrics to an Eels song. Um, my favorite Eels song, as a matter of fact. You'd think I'd be able to remember the lyrics. Anyway, oh, let's get this announcement in there. You're welcome. I just muted up there so that you didn't have to hear that announcement and also trying not to implicate myself too much. Uh, so anyway, reasons, purposes. But, you know, we're in a situation right now where um, a significant a very significant amount of this, uh, the very significant portion of this faculty is leaving after this year is up. And they are leaving specifically because they have gripes with admin. They do not like the way that things are being run and they feel that things could be run better and how dare they be so right <laughs> about their assumptions that 
what's been going on has been going on and what should have been going on hasn't been going on and what shouldn't have been going on has been going on. Like, how dare they be so right about everything that they know. Anyway, it's ridiculous is what it is. Hold up. I actually want to make sure that this is being recorded properly, so give me just one second, if, if, you, if you don't mind. The, you know what? This regression is pretty infinite. This is, a, this is a computer I built out of spare parts. And, um, yeah, the, the graphics card is, you know, wildly out of date. But, like, good luck buying a graphics card these days. Unless you're mega super rich and don't mind overpaying for it. Ah, beverage. Anyway, give me just one second. Okay, my fears have been assuaged. Everything's working fine. It's all good in the neighborhood. Anyway. Okay. But yeah, it's it's very disheartening when um you see people leaving like rats off a sinking ship and then you're like, wait, but why, why am I staying? <laughs> because I am staying. I am staying. Why? Well, because I actually give a crap about these kids, like these specific kids, especially. Like there are kids here who I have a vested interest in like being there for their mental health and being there uh, as part of their support system so that, you know, they don't commit suicide and stuff. And being there for these students so that they have opportunities that they wouldn't have if I were not here. Because this is a poor rural school district and who the freak would do this if I'm not here to do this, you know? Anyway, no one is the answer. Um, anyway, I'm just going to go try... Oh, God. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to go try and find a cave or something. See if I can't settle my problems that way. Oh, hold on. Let me see if my... Baking, the things I had baking, my baking bits are done. What if I talked in this voice the whole time? It'd be pretty good. Y'all would like that. You'd be like, oh, he sounds so good. Like, he sounds like everybody I know who, like, is super cool and great and whatnot. He sounds like a regular you know, Mr. Knows What's Going On pants um, and whatnot. Okay, I'm going to put in here things that I don't want that I will burn to the freaking ground when um, I get the chance. So, you know, that's what that is. Um, all right. That's pretty good, I guess. Um, I think there's way more coal on the bottom than there is on the top. Yeah, there is quite a disparity there. One of the problems of mining deep like this is that you run the risk of um, never getting coal and never getting a lot of things. I feel like resources in the Minecraft have been redistributed in ways that are unfair. I mean, what is this? Uh, the Industrial Revolution in Europe? Uh, you know what I'm saying? A little bit of, you know, marks and angles, marks and angles. You know what I'm talking about. Man, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's right. Talking about marks and angles, man. Those guys, they knew what was up. They were like, hey, you got to redistribute that wealth, man. Like, 
someone getting too much of it, someone else getting too little. That not that is not fair, man. That's like garbage. That's a terrible situation. You got to work to remedy that. Like it's exactly what it is, man. Anyway, I'm building another castle. This one, uh, the, like obviously, this is not on my Minecraft server. Uh, anyway, wait. What are my home coordinates? Negative eighty-six, negative one eleven. Car, um, or car. And we'll just go out and see if we can find us a cave or something that'll give us perhaps some. Um, I need some redstone and some lava. Like desperately, I need both of those things. Because I need to build an incinerator. Like, it's become my favorite Minecraft invention. Like, well, I didn't invent it, but somebody did. Someone did, I tell you what. <laughs> it's real good. It's a good stuff, man. Oh, that's not an effective way of getting down there. That's real. That's, that's just a bad way. Man, that's just no good. No bueno. Tell you what, man. It's like, you know, if uh, if you wanted it to be bueno, um, well, that's like the opposite of bueno, man. Tell you what, that, that right there is uh, not the bueno. Yeah. Okay. So we're getting over here, uh, over on this mountainside. Oh, look, there's... There's a cave right there. Gall dern. Gall dern. Golly. You know what I'm saying? How how my how's a gentle type man supposed to navigate these treacherous circumstances, you know what I'm saying? Like I I, I just wanna, you know, get down here, do what I gotta do, you know, get get me some oars and whatnot, you know, yeah. Copper's one of the most worthless things they've added to the game. Like, I don't really want to do any of the things that they suggest to do with it. So, like, you know, it's problematic, man. Oh, shoot. Oh, crap. And a mini jobby. I don't need this in my life. Not right now, certainly. Ugh. Ugh. This ought to be good. Okay, we are survivors. Bum ba dum bum 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 bum. We are survivors. We are survivors. We are survivors. How good is Kraftwerk? It's so good. Like, I love Radioactivity. Both the song and the album. It just... It, it gets me in my special places. It just hits me in my brain just, just so. Just, just right. Just... You gotta die because I'm probably gonna get out here and I'm probably gonna need a bed. And I'd rather think about that sooner rather than later. Sorry, you stupid. You shouldn't have been made out of the thing I need. <laughs> Maybe you should have thought of that before you were born that way. Okay. What are you, Lady Gaga? 
born that way. Anyway. So much copper. Which I use literally for one thing in all of my game saves. I make copper stairs because they turn, you know, sort of a bluish green. Which is actually the natural color of copper. Well, oxidized copper, anyway. But it's more often than not oxidized. So that is, generally speaking, the natural state. Anywho... I'm here to lecture you on the natural state of copper. No, I was talking to you about like how demoralizing it is to have so many of your friends and peers and um, you know people that you look up to and people you respect, people that you invite over to your house because you're friends with them and you have parties with them and they are your only friends and you don't have any other friends and your life is a little bit sad that way but like whatever we're not here to judge your sad pathetic teacher life like we're just here to tell harsh truths about the world man the world is a vampire sent to dre yayane isn't it disappointing how billy corgan turned out like he turned out to be a real doofus. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it's a baby. Oh, I'm gonna kill it. Just kidding. I'm not gonna kill the baby. Come on. Come on, though. I should have brought shears with me, but I wasn't thinking that far ahead. Obviously. Oh, baby. Look at you. Any who's it's. Uh, yeah, this... Oh, yeah, lava. There's one of the two things I need. Lava. We are the robots. Anyway... Uh, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, uh, my goodness, my goodness gracious, ew, is that a village or is that like a biome change? Is that like some sort of mesa biome or something? Like, I don't know, we'll go check it out or whatever. It's like, it's like a total whatever. Just don't even worry about it. But, like, don't, like, not worry about it. But, like, also just, like, don't worry about it. Sweet. Okay, I'm going to kill this zombie with a sword. Because he offends me with his existence. And his desire to eat my brains is, like, no bueno. I learned that in Spanish. I'm trying to be multicultural and polyglottal. So like, don't hit on me just cause I'm hablaing Espanol, like wicked good. Like, maybe you should have learned to habla en Espanol and then you'd know what I was saying. Like, whatever. So much cover. <laughs> And I know that I'm complaining about the lack of coal, um, and that I've run across a fair bit of coal, but that's not gonna take care of all of my coal needs. Like, see this, like little bits and bobs and pieces and whatnots. Like, that's not gonna do me for long term, coal wise. And so uh, the reason I'm not taking it is because of that. That specifically. Okay, um, I need to get back over here. Take the long way down. I take the cannonball down. Oh my god. Remember when Adam Duritz was everything? Anyway, regardless. This is a very stream of consciousness episode. Um, if you're not down the clown... 
with the stream of consciousness, then maybe you should not have, you know, maybe you shouldn't read James Joyce is all I'm saying. All I'm saying is maybe James Joyce, not your cup of tea. Um, okay. So I'm going to have to, oh, some, oh no, I've got, I've got stuff. Okay. I'm going to have to build me a crafting table for some all. And then once I got my crafting, oh, please get this done before people start showing up and murdering me. Because they'll crawl right out of that pit and they'll be made out of zombies and they'll try to gnaw on my faces, bitses. And that's where I keep my beauty and I don't need that in my life. Anyway. Oh, chug a lug, chug a lug. Does it make you want to holler hidey ho? Burns your tummy, don't you know? Chug a lug, chug a lug. See, I see you rolling down the street in your big Cadillac. You got girls in the front, you got girls in the back, and way in the back, you got money in the sack. Both hands on the wheel and your shoulders red back. I hear tell you're doing well. And good things have come to you. I wish I had your happiness and that you had a do wack a do wack a do wack a do wack a do. Anyway. Come on. Roger Miller, that great American songstress. Okay, please stop giving me bread and who among us if his son should ask not bread would give him bread or who if his son would ask a redstone would give him more bread weaponsmith will get out the way i want to see your chest oh that was your chest well uh, color me disappointed what kind of weaponsmith doesn't even keep weapons in his chest Sweet Mother Mercy. This is an ugly ass village. But at least they got watermelons. And blast furnaces. No, that's not a blast furnace. I forget what's what. I'm sorry. I'm apparently not good at this. Oh, shoot. I shouldn't have jumped in here. Um... Because now I can't get out. Dingus. Alright. Well, let's just put down a boop, boop. Sorry if your sheeps escape. Okay. I just want a chest with... Oh, kitty. I just want a chest with, like, eight redstone would do me for right now. Like, I just need, like, eight redstone. And I'll be so Set. Hey, Mr. Gollum, who's trying to kill you? I don't know, but they better not. Oh, that's not good. I'm not happy. Yeah. What? What was that noise? Oh, grindstone. Okay. I've literally never used one of those in my Minecrafting life. Um, this is a good village. I mean, for other porpoises, but like, you know. If I didn't need what I need right now. I have needs. I have very specific needs that I need to get filled, okay? And I need my needs. Like, you have to respect my needs, first of all. Oh, God. Am I about to jump? Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's not even a dingus. God dang it. And, and there's not even... Ugh. Like, I've never had this hard of a time finding redstone. Like, I... Color me disappointed. For my purposes, like the latest Minecraft update, I know everybody's p 
pissing their pants over every little change, but like for me, like, ugh. And the problem is that um, because they don't support the older versions, oh my god, hey now, don't dream it's over. Um, what if I found some over here? That's some lapis. That, that's a proper goddamn water-filled ravine. There might be some freaking redstone down here. Who knows? I mean, there's a butt ton of copper. Anyway, well, shoot. Now I'm just wandering far from home for like no frick reason with no real direction. I, I should have just stayed in my mind and minded it. But, you know, I was running out of places to put crap and I had a lot of crap I needed to burn off with an incinerator, which I would totally be able to build if it just had like eight redstone blocks. Or not blocks, uh, eight bits, pieces, smallpoxes. What are they called? Eight redstone, eight smallpoxes worth. Anyway. Well. Oh, I didn't break that bed and take it with me the last... I am the dumbest Minecrafter alive. For the record. <laughs> Let the record show. I know I didn't take the crafting table, but like, who among us doesn't leave like random crafting tables in the wilderness? Like who? Who doesn't? But uh, to leave a bed just lying in the wilderness for no freak reason, that is shameful. And I take full responsibility. For my shameful behavior. Okay, back to the... Oh, crap. Oh, crap on a cracker. Oh, go up, stupid. Ah. Don't die because, oh, look at how close to dead I was. Like, ugh. What was I saying about who the worst Minecrafter was? Who was that? Who did I say it was? Roger Federer? Famed tennis player Roger Federer? The world's worst Minecrafter? You, hit, you heard it here first, folks. Roger Federer, not good at Minecraft. Uh, sorry. Sorry for yours. I'm drinking a carbonated beverage. That beverage is delicious. It is a peach and honey flavored aha. Aha. The beverage of gays. That's what I've been told. Anyway. The official beverage of homosexuality. Aha. Uh -huh. I wonder if the band Aha uh -huh gets any of that money. You know what I'm saying? Not that they're the official band of homosexuals. That would be the Pet Shop Boys. Oh, get out of here. Get out of here, you little monkey. Oh, I did not realize it was that. Where did I sleep last? Way out here? Where even is here? Some of the bench. I'm way off from where I was. God dang it. I guess that'll learn me to go meddling in the affairs of the human heart. Uh. Anyway, well, now I don't have my lava bucket, so I'm back to square, not even a square. 
I would say square one if, if that was even remotely where I was close to, but I'm not close to square one, which is close to where I built my big, massive, black, ugly castle. Anyway, I don't know why I am taking upon myself certain affectations that are not uh, true to my actual speaking voice, but I'm in a bit of a silly mood, number one. I'm a little bit pissed off, number two. <laughs> I'm a little bit relieved that I've reached the end of this very ridiculous school week that has presented me with so many challenges. And like, you know what I should be speaking about right now? Like, and th indeed, like, have fully intended to, but like, I get so goddamn tired. You know, like, um, oh, ow. Someone that I happen to care about quite a bit um, attempted suicide this week. So that's a thing that, oh, that I'm having to deal with. Wait, nope, not that direction. Wait. And, and so, like, oh, there it is. There's my big stupid place. Anyway, like, it's it's been very frustrating. It's been very difficult um, because, you know, like, we are not yet. Uh, we are getting close to, but we are not yet to the... Uh, anniversary of my brother's death which by the way we will never know what his cause of death was that is not a question that we will ever have an answer to ever um and that's because you know we were in the middle of a pandemic and um because we were in the middle of a pandemic, uh, you know, medical uh, examiners and whatnot are being used for other purposes. I mean, the one thing we know fairly certainly is that, um, you know, I should make a fishing pole. Anyway, w w one of the things that we know reasonably certainly is that um, is that my brother did not die of COVID. Uh, he was vaccinated and boosted and had no symptoms of it at the time of his death was, you know, and certainly would have sought medical help if he had had such things. So, um, here, have some stupid stuff. Anyway, oh, I gotta go punch a tree because I don't even have anything. Um, so yeah, we, we don't ever get to know why my brother died. And um, the person who attempted suicide, you know, an LGBTQ person um, who has quite literally, and I don't say this lightly, the greatest support system of any LGBTQ person I know um, because of who their parents are and, and how supportive their parents have been. Oh, someone's like legit singing out there. Anyway, uh, but like they had supportive parents they have uh supportive siblings they have supportive this extended family they um have always had access to resources and whatnot like they um have had mental health resources and stuff so like when i say that this person has had the best support system of any LGBTQ person I know, 
I'm not saying that lightly. I, I really want you to grasp my full meaning. And so to know that this person, uh, out of all people, could uh, potentially be so uh, could could be feeling so low in their mental health that this is an avenue that they have taken. Like it's it's very serious because obviously uh, people who um, people who commit suicide are. Uh, or people who attempt suicide, sorry, are likely to attempt it again. And um, the sad thing about suicide attempts, and this is something that many people miss, not that you can, like, w we fool ourselves into thinking that, you know, oh, if I had been there, if I had said the right thing, if I had done the right thing, then perhaps this sad state of affairs would not be the case. Um, no, do not fall down that hole. Do not allow yourself because not only do you not know whether or not you would have had any efficacy in preventing them from uh, taking the drastic course that they did take, um, but you don't know, um, like, you, you are never truly going to know the causes uh, because so many of these things are um, unseen because they are unseen and unnoticed because they are unnoticed and um, cannot be helped because they cannot be helped. And that is perhaps the greatest part of the tragedy is that, like, you know, you, you like to think as a parent that your child is never out of your grasp, is never beyond your reach, is never beyond your help. You know, that you, you would like to think that your child is forever... Um, that your that your child uh, cannot be affected uh, in the same way that perhaps others can, that you have a special set of circumstances, that you have a special relationship, and and indeed, like it is. I mean, yes, these parents whom I love and care for dearly, um, they do have a special relationship with their child. As a matter of fact, like we have based a lot of our parenting strategies off of what we have seen them do. And I, I am not kidding. Like that is an actual fact that we have attempted to parent our children the way that these people parent their children because of how well they have done. So, um, understand me when I tell you how, you know, incredibly, not just heartbreaking and sad and um, amazingly, like, difficult it is for parents to deal with a child who has been suicidal but a child who has been suicidal in spite of everything that they have done, you know, and, and I don't blame the child because that's pointless. Uh, you know, even if we all sat around and talked about it and really determined that it was in fact their fault that, uh, you know, that these things were taking place. Okay, well, how does that help? How does that help anything? It, it doesn't. It does not. And, and so uh, assigning blame is pointless. And, um, y you know, uh, there's so many uh, stock-like um, things that you can say to someone 
uh, that essentially mean nothing and, you know, so many cliched, trite, meaningless, ridiculous things that you could say to someone uh, that are not going to help them and they're not going to help you. Um, and they're certainly not going to help the person who is going through the struggle, you know. So it is a special kind of helplessness. And if uh, you are a person who suffers from anxiety, which, like, if you do, welcome. We have a club. We don't meet. We're too concerned about what would happen if we did. And we're worried that we would throw it and nobody would come and we're a little awkward around each other and we don't know how to talk to each other. So anyway, so yeah, welcome to the club. We don't have meetings. Um, let's get these out of the way. Why don't I get more saplings? I just replicated the ones I already had. I need to get two and three saplings per. Come on. Anyway, so it's very difficult because I spend so much time talking with my students, especially my LGBTQ kids, talking with them about um, the importance of mental health and taking care of yourself. That, you know, self care is real and that it is important and that it is vital um, and all of this all of this that uh, that we have seen that we have experienced that has transpired like <sighs> You um, you can talk a big mental health game, but it is so much more difficult to uh, to really um, to really make it happen in meaningful ways. Anyway, sorry. If I sound a little disjointed, I'm thinking about 15 different things at once here because that's where your mind goes. Like you, you have a hard time just even containing your thoughts. Now, here's the sad thing is that like, I am not the parent of this child. Um, and, uh, you know, like, I am not the one who uh, ultimately, like, has to do anything about this situation. But, like, uh, it's especially difficult when you are someone who cares and you can't do anything. You just can't. Yay, fishy business. Um, but yeah, I, I really and truly and literally cannot do anything. And the funny thing, like I've been telling students this week because... I think it's important for those of us who have figured out a thing or two mental health wise to share from our personal experience and to talk about what is real and what goes down, you know, and what happens and how, uh, never caught a bone before. Um, but how it works how it operates in a person's actual life. It's one thing to be like, yes, mental health is real health. And like, I don't think you find any more very many people who are like, especially post pandemic, like how many people are you gonna find that are like, 
oh, well, you know, all these people with mental health issues are just faking it so they can get attention. Like, uh, y you may have found people like that prior to the pandemic, uh, but their numbers must be dwindling. Oh, shoot. I pulled that too early. Um, anyway. But let me just re... Oh, God. Because it's... Wait, it's not dark. What is a zombie doing out? Alone, multiple zombies. I saw one. Oh, God. I saw one over here. I swear to God, I saw a zombie. And I'm completely unarmed, so... Wow. I'm looking for, like, any special items and whatnot, like, just cool random stuff you sometimes fish for. Anyway, uh, but let me... Oh, God. You know what? It, it's time to end it. <laughs> because it is. I got things I got to do. Bells have rung now. Anyway, people, that is it for this one. I'm sorry it's all disjointed and crappy, but whatever. Okay, bye.